physiotherapist and Pilates instructor. I'm going to show you some hip exercises to strengthen post injuries. With any exercise, if it's sore or hurts you, you must back off or try a different exercise or do less range. On your back, feet hip distance apart, arms by your side. And you're just going to lift and squeeze in this position, really squeeze your bottom. Think of pushing your hips, your feet away from you. So dig your heels in. And down. Um, you go for 10 of those. If that's too easy, or you're feeling stronger, straighten up one leg. And you do one leg at a time, going for 10. Again, this leg up in the air must be nice and strong. And lift. And down. And down. A dynamic hip mobility and strengthening exercise is in standing. You stand on your left leg and lift your right leg up in front of you. Tummy in, shoulders down. And you do little circles. Eight one way, eight the other way. Then, without putting your foot down, you take your foot up to the side. And again, eight circles one way, eight circles the other way. And then, I'll show you from this side, you take it to the back. Eight circles one way, eight circles the other way. When you're in this position, really make sure you don't sink onto the pit you're standing on. Squeeze your buttocks and stand up nice and tall, and this leg's nice and straight too. And then you repeat on the other side. Again, standing up strong, eight circles one way, eight the other way, to the side, and to the back. A small band is amazing as a strengthening tool. You can only use this all the long one. Put it around your feet. And to start with, standing up nice and tall, you're going to walk sideways, keeping your knees dead straight as you go. No bending through, and you're also not penguin walking. You keep your upper body straight, and it's purely from the hips. Next exercise is the band around your thighs, just above your knees. You squat down. Knees stay facing forward, and you walk sideways. With this movement, you actually want to think of your knee leading the movement. So my knees aren't coming together. They stay pulled out and walking sideways. I'll show you from here. Make sure your bottom stays down. So I'm not just doing that. Bend then. Bottom stays back. There's so many exercises I could show you for the hip, but this is a very good one. The plan. So lying on your side, start off with lie flat. Your hips stay facing forward. My knees are bent and my heels are in line with my bottom. And from here, Tummy nice and tight, I open my top leg. But as I lift, open, I don't roll my hips back. My hips stay facing forward, and I only open the knee as much as I can, keeping the hip there, and squeeze, and down. And you should feel it where the dent in the bum would be. And you do 10 one side, and then you repeat on the other. From there, as a nice loose activation for the hip, come up onto your elbow, same position, knees bent, and you're going to come up and lift. And going down. Again, hips stay facing forward, and you're just opening the knee as much as you can, keeping my hip bones facing forward. And you repeat that on both sides. These are just a few exercises to get you started in your rehab process. There are many, many exercises. If any of these exercises hurt, don't do them. If you're not ready for it, there's a lot more we could do, let me know.